Hey, it's Brickzar. And we're going to look at another vintage Lego space set. Don't you just love the classics? This is a set from the early days of Lego space. It's from 1979. It's a two-man scooter, set 891. And it has a stickered torso on the spaceman instead of a printed torso. So let's take a look at it. Okay, here's the vintage white spaceman, meaning he has a white spacesuit. This one has the stickered torso, and the sticker has faded over the years. The whiteness has faded off of it, and the minifigure head has a little thicker um, eyes and lip pattern. I'll put another standard. This is another vintage <coughs> spaceman, and you notice the eyes on this one are are a little more detailed. They're just uh, it's like bold in standard font or something. <laughs> but um, we'll turn it around. Look at the tanks in the back of the minifigure. He's got a little mark on the top of his head, which may be a pip. It's a little more defined than the one on this other one. And the the movement of his legs and his arms is like it just it's like crickly and it's real stiff. It makes you can it makes sounds when you move it. So it's just a really old mini. Right here, here's his little two man scooter. <laughs> Sounds like it should be like a, a motorcycle or a moped or something instead of a spacecraft. But it only comes with one man. But it's got two seater. It's got two steering wheels. And when I put him in here, it's hard for me to move his arms, this minifigure, because his arms are so stiff. They don't want to move. In fact, when it comes apart, when I take him out, it's re really old. But anyway, he's got the thrusters here. I don't know if I want to be sitting that close to the thrusters. Uh, it's a very common space piece. He's got the tail fin. He's got red lights on both sides. He's got a little device here. For detecting things or doing something. There's some more thrusters on the underside here. This is supposed to have gold on it. It's faded. Uh, if you look on the instructions, you can see the gold printing. So they just like the 80 something or 70 something spacemen in this case, uh, they would wear out and fade. Same thing with the printed pieces. And here's another one of our classic space computer consoles. And that's pretty much what you get. And this is why I like those little small sets. They always gave you some neat little elements. You usually got some control elements. Oh, look at that. My uh, jumper piece is broken there. It's cracked. But um, pretty neat. And it's all gray. Everything's gray except for the translucent uh, parts and the steering wheel. And that's pretty neat. And here are the instructions for set 891. And on the back side, we have the space layout with some of the different sets that were available from the original run of LEGO Space. I love all these vintage uh, LEGO sets. We will eventually review all of them. Some of them I have already reviewed. and But you see here, it came out in 1979. So thanks for watching this review of another vintage LEGO Space set. I love the space. One of my favorite things that I never collected that I am now collecting. And so tell me what you think. I know these haven't been as popular as, say, some of the newer stuff, but I like it. And I'll continue to review this classic Lego stuff. Thanks for watching. This is Briggs.